Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today, we are going to do a quick review of some formulas and applications from geometry. But before we get started, we gotta get out. Charlie, you better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie. Today, we're doing some geometry. Oh, yeah. This is Charlie's favorite subject. No, it's not. Never mind, Charlie. Well, let's get going right there. Let's begin with complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles, Charlie, are angles that sum to 90 degrees. So if one angle is 26 degrees, the other angle must be 64 degrees because their sum will equal 90 degrees. We say that the sum forms what we call a right angle, which is 90 degrees, and that's why that little box is in the corner. Now, for supplementary angles, if one angle is 80 degrees, the other angle must be 100 degrees because Supplementary angles sum to 180, forming what we call a straight angle. And therefore, we would say 100 degrees plus 80 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, Charlie, now, suppose one angle was 26 degrees and the other angle was represented by x. Then we would say the sum of x and 26 degrees must equal 90 degrees. And solving for x, you would obviously get 64 degrees. In the other case, if one angle was 80 degrees and the other angle was represented by the variable x, we would say x plus 80 degrees has to equal 180 degrees. And solving for x, you'd get x equals 100 degrees, right? Okay, Charlie, let's move on to this triangle right here. Find A, where A degrees represents the measure of the angle we're trying to find. And so, Charlie, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle Always sum to what? 180, that's right, 180 degrees. So we can write an equation here, a plus 48 plus 18 equals 180. And now we can solve for a. First of all, 48 plus 18 is 66. So we get a plus 66 equals 180. And now what do we do, Charlie? Subtract 66. That's right, subtract 66 from both sides. Those cancel there. And we get a equals 114. So since A equals 114, then the measure of the angle we're trying to find is 114 degrees, right? All right, Charlie, let's continue on. Let's go to this triangle. Now, Charlie, do you remember the formula for the area of a triangle? One half base times height. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, it's one half base times height. So let's go ahead and replace our base, which is this bottom length for the B, and our height, which is that vertical length right there, 10 centimeters. Now. Okay, Charlie, what's 7 times 10? 70. That's right. Now, what's centimeters times centimeters? Centimeters squared. Centimeters squared. That's right. Two dimensions. Remember, area is always two dimensions, and the units will be centimeters squared in this case, but it could be feet squared, inches squared, uh, yards squared, depending on your uh, dimensions, right? But in this case, we have centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. Now, Charlie, what's half of 70? 35. 35, and so our answer is... The area of this triangle is 35 centimeters squared. Some people pronounce that as 35 square centimeters, but remember, it's always written just like that. All right, Charlie, let's go right here. Now, we're going back to pre-algebra. <sighs> Do you remember how to find the perimeter of a shape, Charlie? Add up the sides. That's right. Perimeter is equal to the sum of all the side lengths. So in this case, we would add 2 plus 7 plus 5 plus 14 plus 4 plus 17 plus 11, plus 10 to get the perimeter. And our units are inches. Perimeter is a length and it's only one dimension, so our units are just inches. Now, if you add all these up, Charlie, you would get 70 inches for your perimeter. Now, a more challenging problem is to find the area of this shape, and that's what we're gonna do. So, let's go and work towards the area. Now, to find the area, what we normally do is break up the shape into rectangles. We're gonna do a couple cuts here, watch there and there. And we'll call that top rectangle number one, and this one number two, and this one number three. Now what we're gonna do is find the dimensions for each individual rectangle so that we can separate, watch. So for rectangle one, we see it's 17 inches by four inches, right? Now for rectangle two, no, we're missing this little horizontal length. Well, notice this bottom length is 10, and that first step is seven, so what's the missing length here, Charlie? Three? It's got to be three, right? Because three plus seven will equal that bottom 10 inches, right? That's a tough one. You might want to go back and review the pre-algebra video on 
finding area because that will help you out with this problem. Alright Charlie, so the bottom rectangle is obviously 10 by 2 inches, right? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and isolate and separate everything. So here it comes. There we go. Now, to find the area of a rectangle, it's length times width. And so for area 1, Charlie, what's 17 times 4? 68. That's right, but it's 68 inches times inches is inches squared. Two dimensions for area. For rectangle 2, it's 5 inches times 3 inches, or 3 inches times 5 inches, which gives you 15 inches squared. And for rectangle 3, it's 10 inches times 2 inches, which is 20 inches squared. And to find the total area, we'll sum up all these individual areas, and you should end up with 103 inches squared. Now, that's a tough problem there, right? Let's continue on now. Let's go to circles. Now, Charlie, notice in the circle, you're given the length all the way across the circle through the center, and that's called the diameter, and therefore the diameter is 16 inches. Now the radius is half the diameter, Charlie, so what is the radius? 8 inches. Very nice. And so for circumference, we'll use the formula 2 pi r, which means 2 times pi times the radius. Let's replace r with our radius of 8 inches. And 2 times 8 is 16, but it's not just 16, it's 16 times pi. Don't forget about that. So our answer is 16 times pi inches. If you had a calculator, you could replace pi with 3.14 and do the calculation there, okay? But we're going to leave our answers with pi in it. So, let's go to area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Now here, we'll replace the radius with 8 inches. And Charlie, what's 8 squared? 64. 64. So our answer is not 64 inches squared. It's 64 pi, which means 64 times pi, and our units are two dimensions inches squared, right? All right, let's continue on, Charlie. Let's go on to this right circular cylinder, where the radius of the circular top, which is equal to the circular bottom, right, the area, is 6 feet. This is a big tank. Now, the height is 15 feet. Okay, the formula for a right circular cylinder is pi r squared h. It's three dimensions, and you can remember this formula by realizing, hey, the area of the circle is pi r squared, and if you take that area of the circle and multiply by the height, you get the formula for volume. So that's a good way to remember that formula. So let's go ahead and replace our radius with the 6 feet, and our height with the 15 feet. And working this out, you have to do 6 squared, which is 36, and 36 times 15 is 540. Now our units are, are feet squared times feet, which will be feet cubed. But do not forget what, Charlie? the pi. Our answer is not 540 feet cubed, it's 540 times pi feet cubed, right? And that makes sense, feet cubed is our units for volume, right? All right, Charlie, let's go on to this one, a right circular cone. Now, a right circular uh, cone is, is kind of similar to a, the volume for the area of the right circular cylinder, but it's actually one-third of it, watch. So here's the formula volume for a right circular cone is one-third pi r squared h, right? So that's one way to remember it. Okay, Charlie, now let's go ahead and replace the radius and the height with its dimensions. The radius is two centimeters and the height is five centimeters, right? And so to work this out, notice you'll have one-third. Now, don't forget, we got a pi in there. But first, let's do the numbers. What's two squared? Four. And four times five is? 20. 20. But don't forget, it's 20 what? Pi. 20 pi. And our units are centimeters squared times centimeters, which is centimeter cubed. And therefore, our answer will be 20 over 3 times pi centimeters cubed there. So there you go. That was a quick review of geometry. Let's continue on. We'll see you all again soon.